challenging times in our country's history. We have an election coming up between two strongly opposing ideologies. We're facing a global pandemic that's just crippling our economy. And we're undergoing a major political movement asking for nationwide police reform. What we do now decides the outcome for our children's generation. But sadly, what we are doing is not helping. A lot of us are stubborn in our political beliefs, not willing to listen to the opposing side's struggles. Our shutdown response to this pandemic is destroying businesses with mass layoffs, and the justified ask for police reform has led to violent protests, injuring the very same people we rely on when we are in desperate need of help. So what is all that created for us? A country so polarized that we define political opposition as evil versus good. Families starving for necessities like food and water. And city council members pressured into voting to defund billions in police budgets. The single institution that keeps our homes safe and criminals off the street. Sadly, a recent survey of 10,000 officers by the Caliber Press found that only 7% of officers would encourage their children to join law enforcement. They also found that 70% of officers are going to leave the profession as soon as they can with or without a pension. At the time that we are at peak polarization, we are distressed at the state of our economy and deeply saddened by the actions of a few officers. We have in turn vilified our public heroes, taken critical resources away and confused a new generation that heroism, honor, and sacrifice in this new world will be faced with criticism and violence. Left, right, center. Our common goal is a strong America, a prosperous America. That can only be formed between the balance of two conflicting viewpoints, an unregulated meritocracy or accepted nepotism, government-sponsored socialism or pure capitalism. A strong America is formed when we invest in critical systems that need reform, not defund and criticize the heroic force that protects our society. During this evolution in our country's history, sit down and listen to your opposition's political viewpoint and respect it even if you don't agree. And if you're a business not affected by this pandemic, help employ as many people as you can. And those that are protesting the need for reform, do so with respect to both your country's property and our emergency response institution. If we follow these ideas, our children will inherit a stronger country and a more unified America. To all the honorable men and women in uniform who protect our lives and freedom, we see you, we love you, and we support you.